hey YouTube opinionative reviewer here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5.0 beta 6 preserve your baseband and get iOS 5 without registering your UDID so you don't have to register your UDID you can use this snow breeze for beta 6 and you're going to get iOS 5 beta 6 without registering your UDID but you have to jailbreak your iDevice, so this is going to jailbreak your iDevice. If you don't want to jailbreak your iDevice, but you want iOS 5, there will be a link in the description where you can register your UDID and just get iOS Beta 6 or any of the future iOS Betas without having to go through all this trouble. Now there's a couple of key things to note. This jailbreak is tethered. So you're going to have to use iBooty to boot your iDevice tethered every time your battery dies, you reboot your iDevice, or you turn off your iDevice. So it's tethered. The only device it's untethered for is the iPhone 3GS old boot RAM. So this jailbreak supports the iPad 1, iPod Touch, 3rd and 4th gen, iPhone 4, GSM and CDMA, and both iPhone 3GS new and old boot RAM, but for the old boot RAM, it's untethered for the new boot ROM it's tethered and Snowbreeze automatically creates iBooty for you and put it on your desktop it creates it and put it on your desktop just like it does with the firmware so there's a couple things you're gonna need for this you're gonna need the beta 6 IPSW for the iDevice you're trying to jailbreak you're gonna need Snowbreeze 2.8 B6 and you're gonna need iTunes 10.5 beta 6 the links in the description to all of those stuff you guys already know that's how I do it and a lot of you always tell me about errors if you read the guide in the description you'll find out how to fix those errors most of them so read the link in the disc go to the link in the description and scroll down to the bottoms the error fixes down to the bottom so let's start so the first thing you're gonna do is right click snow breeze click properties Compatibility, you're going to check off, run this program in compatibility mode 4, Windows Service Pack 2, check run this program as an administrator, hit apply and then hit OK. Now you're going to run Snowbreeze, OK, close credits, go click next, you're going to browse for your IPSW firmware, I put mine on my desktop, put it somewhere you can find it, your beta 6 firmware. As you can see, it recognized iOS 5 beta 6. We're going to click next and we're going to click expert mode. General. You can click install SSH if you want to, but we're going to make sure this is checked. Remove UDID check slash beta timer. That's so you can bypass the UDID problem. Click next, click next. Now you're going to click build IPSW and just click next. Now Snowbreeze is going to build the IPSW. This is why I pause and I'm going to come back when that is finished and continue with the video. So as you can see, Snowbreeze is finished. And it automatically created iBooty on your desktop. Also with the firmware that you will need. So what we're going to do is just going to click OK. And now we're going to get ready to put our iDevice in to DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry. I'm going to show you. So the first thing you're going to do is hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds. Then we're going to release the power button and keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Snow Breeze recognizes our iDevice. So let's go. We're going to click start and then we're going to get ready to put the iDevice into DFU mode. So let's go. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi. 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi, 8 Mississippi, 9 Mississippi, 10 Mississippi, release, 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi. Now Snowbreeze has recognized our iDevice, you can release the home button now. And make sure your iDevice is plugged in, I always forget to say that, I don't know why. So yeah, after Snowbreeze is finished, you're just going to click OK. We can X out Snowbreeze now that that's done. And now we're going to open up iTunes. So obviously iTunes recognizes our iDevice is in recovery mode or DFU mode. So now we're going to press shift on the keyboard and then we're going to hit restore in iTunes. So press shift and then hit restore in iTunes. And we're going to look on the desktop because there is where Snowbreeze puts the IPSW. This is it right here. It begins with Snowbreeze. 
and now we're going to click that and hit restore and all we got to do now is let iTunes work its magic and once again I'm going to pause here and then come back when iTunes is finished so now that iTunes is finished you're going to realize that your Cydia and your Safari is crashing don't worry about that that's normal for Tether jailbreak and your Cydia will be on this side mine only looks different because I restored my iPod touch via iTunes because I hate doing the setup every time the iOS 5 setup you'll have to do that so yeah that's gonna be crashing but don't worry we'll use iBooty to boot up our iDevice tethered so you're gonna go back over to your computer now and then you're gonna run iBooty It's gonna be on your desktop by default you're gonna click on iBooty and you're gonna select your the device which is which is gonna be the only device mine is my iPod touch as you can see there and now we're gonna get ready to put our iDevice into DFU mode again so now we're gonna hit start and get ready to put our iDevice into DFU mode so let's go one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi four Mississippi five Mississippi six Mississippi seven Mississippi eight Mississippi nine Mississippi ten Mississippi release one Mississippi 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi. Now that I, I booty recognize that I device is going to work its magic. Stupid iTunes just popped up. I hate that stupid thing. So our I device is now booting up tethered. I'm going to come back when it is finished. So now that our I device has finished booting up tethered, your Cydia and your Safari should work like normal you are now jailbroken with the jailbreak force be with you and always remember this is a tethered jailbreak so you're gonna always have to boot your iDevice tethered with iBooty anytime your battery dies you reboot your iDevice or you power it off with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day